Good morning, YouTube. We're here for a full day of eating while on your period on keto. Yay! I am looking forward to showing you guys what I eat in a regular day compared to period day. And you'll be shocked at how similar they are. <laughs> Alright, bye guys. I'll see you back next when I eat. As promised, I'm here breaking my fast with you guys. Stephanie got me a delicious coffee, and this is how step one and how to stay keto on your period. It's not actually that hard, guys. It's like literally eat the same things that you eat when you're not on your period. And ta-da, you stayed keto. But I promise a day of eating, so that's what we're doing. As you can see, we came to Plato's closet and we conquered with some really, really pretty colors. That one's a no. It doesn't quite fit. It's so pretty. And then this one is, oh my god, fire. I cannot wait to show you guys her nut dress. And that sweater. Does it have a little tiny? Oh no, it's like a cow. I love that though. So we came, we tried on the ton of stuff, most of it didn't fit, but we didn't want to get us down. You know? Like, that's what else. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. You gotta retake that one, it was. Wrong Tucky Taste. I'll go win a prize. Alright, you guys, we're here because of Shane Dawson's Chuck E. Cheese conspiracy, and I have some things I want to say about this. One, Chuck E. Cheese has a buffet. Two, if you order a half and half pizza, that person is just gonna go to the buffet and put half of each type of pizza on your board, okay? That's how it's gonna happen. It's not recycled pizza. Why do you think it's just so, like, that's not even the most logical option. There's a buffet, it's not the most lot. what? What? I think Chuck E. Cheese could afford to like make fresh pizzas. And they totally could. They could afford to make fresh pizzas, but they're not recycled pizzas. No. It's so dumb. But also, to the other point that Chuck E. Cheese is a gambling wonderland, holy shit, I never thought about that. It totally is. They have an all-you-can-play Wednesday. They do have an all-you-can-play Wednesday. For only $14 an hour. What kind of kid has $14? I don't know. What's up, dude? We are in the Daily Juice Cafe looking for something to nom on. And then I would love to try this one oh, here. Do you have an avocado question? Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. It makes the smoothies really creamy. Yes. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Thank you so much. You're free to try all of these. Oh, thank you. 
This is the crescent moon. Oh, oh it's super that's tasty. Very tasty. Yeah, I'm gonna check the ingredients list real quick. Oh, it doesn't say. It's cashew, cinnamon, coconut oil, water, salt, vanilla bean, and that's amazing. Very tasty. Do you happen to know what the carb count on this one is? One hundred fifty-five calories. Uh, so a little beyond carb count. Oh, carb count. Twenty-five grams. Uh, mm -hmm. We have the whole chart. Yeah, it's not all of the juices on here. Yeah. That's wonderful. Awesome. Oh yeah, right here. Okay. I'm so excited because I'm doing a YouTube video and we love doing like local. What can you eat keto around Austin? Mm -hmm. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, I've lost a hundred and five pounds. Wait. Yeah. How long have you been doing keto? Six months. Yeah, That's six amazing. months. Yeah. I'm getting there. I'm working my way. Yeah. Well, you're doing your own thing. It's different for everybody. And also, I had a lot more to lose than you. That's really Not nice. Not for long. You're almost <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for this smoothie, can I get avocado, blueberries, blackberries, kale, and Um, uh, I did a medium. I did a medium. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if that's what our hair is. But yeah, medium is huge for this. What, the, what we're getting is awesome. Oh yeah, what would it like for the base? Uh, coconut do you have coconut milk? Do yes. you unsweeten coconut milk? Yes. Okay, that was what I like. Sorry, I'm being all over. I know, don't worry about it, girlfriend. This is good, this is how I learn also. Oh, thank you. I was prepared to pay. Oh, we got a treat me to smoothie. Mm. Heck yes. So, mine is not sweet. It doesn't have any protein powder or anything in it, or any kind of sweetener in it. And I got unsweetened coconut milk in mine, um, just because that uh, the vegetables and stuff I chose are high fiber, uh, but also because the vegetables high carb. So. I didn't want any added you know, carbs in there. And it yeah. was pretty good. So it's yeah. not that hard to stay car uh, keto on your period, even when you're craving something fruity and delicious. And I mean, it's naturally sweet. Yeah, this really hits the sweet notes that you crave. It does. It really does. It's uh... mm. this is coming from someone who is not keto and does partake in sugary things. So even tasting hers, it wasn't absurdly sweet but it was very tasty and fresh mm -hmm. that's what I like about it the most big chunks of potatoes <laughs> <laughs> alright guys I took you out while I was eating I'm going to put you away now so that we can have our own conversation bye Hey guys, I told you that I was going to film all of my eating and this is what I am eating for dinner tonight because I am not feeling so great, but I'm not getting these in the frame. Protein cookie, chocolate chip, and peanut butter. 
And then I'll probably make something for Lee with like chicken or something in it. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye. I didn't have to pause.